Assalamualaikum and good day to all. I am Dr. Siti Rosina Yaziz. We will share with you the section 1.3.4 Descriptive Statistics using Microsoft Excel. Let's me, introduce, let's me demonstrate to you the step by step. Let's say we have a set of data like this. Okay, go to menu or tab data and then select a Choose data analysis. Okay. Press the data analysis tools and then choose descriptive statistics from the analysis tools. Click OK. Okay. And fill in the information needed. Okay. For the part of input range. Okay. Select the data set. Select the data set here. Okay, uh, then since our data here is in column, okay, take for column, okay, after that, uh, since we consider uh, label in, in the data selection, so we need to tick for the labels in first row. Okay, for the part of our uh, output options, okay, you can choose either you want to place the output on the same sheet as data, okay, or on a new worksheet. Let's say, um, let's say you want to place it on the same sheet of data, okay, then click this part, okay, then, <coughs> uh, Select a cell, okay, select a cell that you want to uh, place the output, okay, a cell is enough, okay. Then, uh, the next is to get the descriptive statistics of data, take summary statistics. Okay, you also can take confidence level for means. Okay, and automatically Excel will give us uh, by default 95% means that 95% confidence level for mean. The topic for confidence level will be discussed in details in chapter 2. Okay, after that the next step is click OK. Okay, less than one second we can get the uh, output. For the descriptive statistics, and let's enlarge the output here for better uh, output. Okay, based on the output, we can get measures of central tendency that are mean, the value of mean, the value of median. And mod. However, in this case, mod is not available since mod is not exist in this data set. Okay. By comparing this measure of uh, central tendency, we can identify the shape of data distribution. Let's say for this data, since mod is not uh, available. So, we just compare the value of mean and median. Okay, based on these values, mean less than median. Mean here is less than median. So, <coughs> the shape is left skewed or negatively skewed. The negatively skewed characteristic of data is confirmed by the negative value of skewness. Okay, not that skewness is a measure of symmetry of a data set. While courtesies here show us the pickedness of a data set. Okay, this descriptive uh, statistics for data also give us the measure of variation. That are sample standard duration, this value, sample variance and range. <coughs> uh, Minimum and maximum value uh, shows the smallest and the highest data respectively for the data set. And uh, by looking at the output, okay, count here, 
we can we also can look at the count here which count here is represent for the number of data in the data set and the last one here um, <coughs> that is confidence level okay show us the 95 percent confidence level for the mean and as i said uh uh, in the previous part, this is will be discussed in detail in chapter 2.